Hey kittens, it's Megan and today we are going to be flipping through my 2019 bullet journals. I figured what better way to look forward than to do a quick glimpse into the past to see where I came from with my bullet journals. Now I used the Scribbles That Matter notebooks last year, I really loved them and I probably will use them again in the future but let's just go ahead and start flipping through them. I want to preface this video by saying 2019 was the year that, well, depression really hit me hard. I broke, and I'm not proud of it, but you know, that's okay. Everybody breaks sometimes. I'm going to be flipping through these pages, and then I'll stop and talk about any particular pages that stand out that I loved, uh, but you'll see a lot of half-filled spreads in here. I'm not proud of it, but... It's life, you know, not everything's going to work the way you want it to, and you just have to turn the page and keep going. I loved January's theme. It was just so light and airy and pretty, and I don't know, it just, it all seemed to work for me in January. I stuck with the same kind of weekly layout all month, and it worked for me at the time, but that's one of the good things about bullet journals is you can always turn the page and change it up. February, I decided to use the card suits as my theme, black and red. Uh, didn't want to stick with the traditional Valentine's stuff, but this was really the month I tried to focus on myself and self-love, and I switched up my weeklies every week almost. That's my favorite quote of all time, and thus the World Geek of Time brings in his revenges. It's from William Shakespeare, and I absolutely love it. To be honest, not a huge fan of March in my bullet journal. I mean, I kind of stuck with this idea of lights, although this is the month that I did the song of the day list that I love. I love this playlist. It just makes me happy. And then this is my where the light comes in spread. This is pretty much things that make me happy. And I did one every day. We are all broken and that's how the light gets in. I love that quote. April, I decided to copy one of Amanda Rach Lee's bullet journal themes, which was just clouds, but I added like a silver lining to them and then depression hit. And hardly anything got done in my bullet journal. May, again, another Amanda Rachel Lee tutorial on the butterflies. I decided to f stick with like the prismatic rainbow colors, and it was a fun spread or fun color scheme. I really liked it, but probably wouldn't use those particular colors again. And uh, this is actually when I first started having weekly dinners with my grandma. Um, she recently passed from breast cancer and this is the one thing that I will never regret is weekly dinners with grandma. I loved June. It was scrapbooky and organic and it just it flowed so well for me and I really liked it. My first Kanban board that did not work for me. 
I really seem to like vertical layouts for a while there. And then I kind of moved to like an organic flow with it thing, which led to my Mandala July setup. Bright colors, fun patterns, and it just, I love, love how bright this is. And I just kind of kept with the organic dailies as I went through. It worked for me for the time. Um, these two pages are kind of like scrapbooky. My friend Teresa got me a ticket to Shine Down for my birthday, and oh, it was the best concert ever. Next up is August, when I tried to be like really artsy, and depression again after a few days into the month. It was just not good, and I I tried to push through, and I started spreading out my my dailies so I could write as much as I needed to per day and I really liked how that felt and then I started planning for my next bullet journal things I wanted to keep things I liked things I didn't and just kept going to the end of the month and that's it that's everything for my bullet journal for the first part of the year. This is my next bullet journal, of course, for the second half of the year. And I kept things pretty much black and white in this particular journal. And kept it simple. Again, depression hit. Didn't really get a lot done in some of the spreads. But, you know, it, it kept me going some days, so I just pushed through with it. This is when I thought I was going to be going back to school. Took a couple of classes <laughs> and had to drop them because anxiety and depression would not allow me to do anything, really. There was also a slight stalker situation, which wasn't good. This is my September spread, one of my favorites of my whole bullet journal career, just because I love Harry Potter and it just makes me so happy. Again, I stuck with the more organic dailies here, made it easy to keep track of things, just take as much space as I need, which I kind of miss about bullet journaling, but I figured out a way that works for me going forward. So. We'll see how it works. That's, again, the cool thing about bullet journals. Change your mind, turn the page, start over. This is the first month I did a month in review and a kind of taking stock, and I love that. Here is my October. Oh, I love the craft, and this spread was just so much fun to design snakes and the candles and all of that. Loved those candles. The movies I wanted to watch during the month. Planning for Preptober and yeah. This is this is where things really hurt. I lost my grandma at the end of October. And I tried to push through with my plans for NaNoWriMo and I failed. Completely. And that's fine, you know? Sometimes you fail. Went to Vegas, had some fun there with my sister and my brother-in-law. And stopped bullet journaling. And then there's December. Again, super simple, black and white. And still depressed. <laughs> Pages didn't get filled in, Christmas lists, monthly goals, take stock, weekly stuff, and then I didn't do anything for most of the month, and then I just started filling in pages with random things, and things that I wanted in my next journal. And, you know, again, you turn the page and you keep going, and 
like one of the things I write all the time to myself is I got this. Let's me take a breath, you know, and move forward. There's a lot of time and space left in this bullet journal, but we're gonna start fresh with 2020 and use something completely different. So this year I am going to be switching into an Archer and Olive notebook. And honestly, this little bee is the most cutest thing ever. Really excited to get started. It's the same page thickness, same size. But we'll talk about that in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.